What is in this crate? What is in here? Is this copper? Copper! It is copper! This is a nice look. I love this location. We shall find rocks. We shall settle down here. Oh, I'm gonna spit all over the place. I'm so excited. Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is games for kicks and welcome back to Osiris New Dawn. In the last episode we built our little ovens and our new primitive workbenches and we also finished our habitat. So we now have to focus on getting the um, rubber and we're gonna have to focus on getting hydrogen. So we need to make some bottles for hydrogen so we're gonna have to go on a little bit of a grind today and then hopefully also go to the big rubber tree where there apparently is only one because nobody else could find any other locations but we shall go there, we shall visit it and we shall see how awesome it is gonna be. There's apparently also some great sights to see around that rubber tree. Either way, I hope you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Now what we need a lot of is titanium and aluminium now we have to go on a big grind you need three raw resources for everything it's unbelievable and actually for copper which we also need now to make a barrel to hold the hydrogen we need one copper ingot one aluminium ingot is it aluminium sorry I've written it down here one titanium ingot one copper ingot and two steel plates now we have 18 steel plates so we can make nine barrels which should be plenty but in general steel plates would also be another iron ingot two iron ingots and two aluminium ingots and one magnesium, which means three resources every time you talk in hundreds of ores, yeah? I mean, seriously, you need like several stack of ores. We had two stack of magnesium here. That's only 33 um, ingots. And two stacks of titanium, there, 31 ingots. So I upped the resource yield a little bit and the refresh rate as well not all the way just a little bit so we'll see hopefully we don't have to do a lot of grinding now in between episodes and we can actually get on with imp uh, improving our base and progressing in the game because that would be much more interesting um than just sitting here watching people gather resources because we're gonna have to do that anyway now let's see what the resource yield is now we get one more so before we got five now we get four uh, before we got four now we got five now we got seven very good so that has increased as well a little bit that extra kind of uh, crit or whatever you want to call it there's four again so it's not really all that much bigger there we go so what do we have now here iron aluminium and magnesium yes we're gonna have to go on the grind so also thank you so much guys for showing me this boom you can stamp on, stamp, stamp on things, which should help a lot fighting the grab, apparently. So let's go and find copper, which is one of the things we definitely need to find. All right, all right, all right. Let's try out our new battle tactics. Did we get it? No, we didn't. Okay, let it come again. Let it come again. I want to see how much damage we do to it. Come on. Come on! Oh, we missed it. I don't know why we missed it. That's awful. Okay, let's do it again coming now why do we not jump over it? starting to hurt a bit this is terrible we we jump way higher than it is but yet there we go yeah we stumped on it and it's not caring that is stupid there we go we stumped down but it doesn't seem to phase it at all i think it might be the skelly pots or whatever they're called um it might be better with them there we go, we stumped down. I don't know if we hit it or not. Where's it gone? Oh, we hit it! I think we did hit it. It's really tricky to hit it. But it seemed to have worked. Because we definitely killed it with our stump. So we just got attacked by some skelly pots or whatever they're called. Oh, we're not getting any botanic resources anymore uh, experience from this. Very good. Um, so let's get some banana leaves as well. And now what we can do is we can do our item crafting and we can craft some of those guys, which is really, really good. There we go. And we can just heal up. So I like that they added that because it means you don't have to worry about bringing an abundance of resources with you because you can actually just heal here. There we go. Nice. Let's get a couple of more banana leaves. And um, excellent. Make some more of these bandages. Woo! Yeah, that jumping up and stamping on things doesn't work really well because I was attacked by so by some skelly pods, whatever they're called, and I call them skelly pods from now on. End of story. Don't care if that's right or wrong. You know the ones that I mean. And if every time you jump and you do this, you land on them most of the time, but yet you get damaged and they're not. And then sometimes they get damaged. So I don't think it's a very good um, implementation just yet. 
So I think they definitely have to improve on that because there is no way for you to exactly measure where you are, um, how to do it. So let's turn the light actually on. And oh, there's a, there's a big resource node. Um, oh, sap. Actually, we can use the jars to collect sap, I was told, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for resources. And for, let me see here, let's make some more bandages. There we go. Nice. Excellent. Look at that. Loads of bandages here. And let's get that as well. Let's use the rest of the uh, berries as well to just make the rest of the bandages. And then we have all the berries used up for bandages, I think. Well, we can eat one of them. There we go. Plus five nutrition. Very good. I like it. So it's very handy. I like that they really improved on that now, that while you're out and about, you can actually make use of all these things, which is really, really good. Now, let's see what resources we come across here. There seems to be a lot of nodes in this area oh nice aluminium this is lo oh this is a pure aluminium heaven oh that is awesome there's like three aluminium notes right here and then we have more notes over here so let's see we have base metal base metal base metal this is a very good resource ho uh, uh, note yeah we should we should have a lot of fun here well, at least this is not acid rain, so it's not going to kill us. <laughs> it kind of... Now that raw resources... Oh, balls. What the hell? Where is it? There we go. There's only one of them, I think. Oh, whoa! You see that? What the hell? It's like a, a jumping attack. Yo, look, I jump up, and now, bam, down. I was right on top of it. But... But I got damaged, and it didn't. Well, at least I don't think it did. Ah, balls. Come on. Where are you? Where are you, Skelly? There you are. There we go. You're dead. You're dead. Thank you very much. Okay, let's heal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep your pants on, lady. It's okay. Oh, whoa. Whoa, and then there was night. Is one of them going to land near us? A little bit of a, sa a sodium would be nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is the closest, but it's still very far away. So, ah, well. But you know what? We're just gonna do our resource gathering here. That's what we came here for. Let's finish that. This is not good, guys. This is not good. We have multiple crabs. Multiple crabs. There we go. Ah, balls. There's many of them. Ah, balls. There was just too many of them. There was like three of them. We're definitely gonna have to get our body back. There's absolutely no way we're gonna leave this behind. We had all the resources we need. Holy balls. Look at that. It was like three of them. Two or three of them. And one of them definitely didn't look like a little infant. <laughs> no way. We're very close to our body now. I just really hope we can just do a, a grab and run. There's our body. nice oh oh i thought it was all gone i was like what the hell man not cool <laughs> okay that that's that's pretty okay though that's okay where am i gonna put all that that's just nonsense okay let's sort why does it not merge when you sort that's why are these bandages different than okay they're makeshift bandages i see i see and their patch tapes, they can stack. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Excellent, we didn't lose everything. That is sweet. Okay, so it's now getting bright outside. So let's have a little look. Can we hack up our body? Is that a thing? What happens when we hack it up? Can we hack it up? Oh, we can. It disappears. Very good. Okay, there's a very nice place over here that I actually wanted to check out with you guys. Before I got so... Ah, I reloaded balls. Wasting ammunition. Because I think when you reload, you lose every ammunition that's already in the gun. It doesn't just restock. It puts in the full thing. Anyway, there's no rubber tree here. But this looks pretty awesome. I like this little island here. It looks nice. I have no idea if there's any useful resources here or anything. I think it has no meaning. It's just a very nice location. And there's no resources around it that you could deem rare or anything. There's nothing on the map. So that's just it. Pretty place to look at. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna add some underwater monsters. That would be pretty cool. I'm just following up on um, coordinates here. There is at, at 20 latitude and 17.8 minus 17.8 longitude. We have apparently copper. So 
Oh, look at that. Over there is something. Wow. Okay, there's a little bit of a structure over there. That's pretty cool. Um, okay. So let's see what we have here first. Come on. You can make it. You can make it. Yes. So because I think I have to be on top of this when we get to the latitude coordinates. So 20.3 seems to be on top of here. And I don't know if we can actually make it. I don't think so. But we'll see. Ooh, look at that. There's definitely a base thing going on over there. That is pretty awesome. I like that. Okay, oh, I don't think we're going to be able to make that jump. There is absolutely no way. I thought we can get up here, but that is not the case. So the problem I have is that latitude 20 is over here, but longitude... Let me see here. Longitude... 17.8 is over here a little bit so it seems to be just right as it curves around on top of the mountain i'm not 100 percent sure but now i'm actually more intrigued what's over here let's have a little look let's have, let's do a little bit of exploration here when dingus falls off the cliff that's what happens <laughs> unbelievable i'm such a tool um, okay, let's bring the shovel with us again. Let's leave this here. Let's put the multi-tool here. I'm such an idiot. Okay, take all for the rest. Holy balls. Okay, we definitely want to take some of that, do we? Oh, no, we don't need to. Let's eat a little bit. Uh, yeah, uh, I understand you. Oh, it's getting dark already. Can we build a second outpost easily? I want to get rid of my body. Come on. I don't think we can. No, he will just spa out. There we go. Now he's gone. There's a very good base repository over there. A mili uh, aluminium repository there. But this looks amazing. Let's have a little look and see what we can find. Wow, there's a structure up there. And, oh, what is that? That that doesn't look like a mountain. Ooh. This looks really weird. Oh, we definitely look at this. This definitely looks like a big structure. So like, why don't we go up here first and have a look what this structure is. And I like the pipes going in here. It's like an oil refinery pipe or something. Ah, what was beeping? Okay, that was just my computer. Genie Mac, I thought something was beeping and attacking me in my balls. No. Look at those pipes. That is amazing. Ooh. Okay, we died twice. We deserve to find something pretty. That sun is a bit strong here. Please don't let there be any more animals that want to eat my balls. I, I'm really tempted to, to lower that alien spawn rate. <laughs> what is in here? That is a building. Can we hit it? Oh, we can. Okay, it doesn't seem to get destroyed. But it's definitely a solid str- Oh, it's open! Oh, nice! Ooh, what is that? There's nothing in here. But it's awesome. Can we build in here? <gasps> oh, would we be able to build in here? If I put an uh, inflatable dome here or something. A, a dome kit. Can we make a dome kit? Is that something we can craft? Why can't we craft an inflatable dome kit? Why is that not something we can craft on our person? That's just stupid. <laughs> I want to build something here. Okay, maybe we can build a stone oven. It's only rocks. I think we should start here. We should get a stone oven. Can we build a stone oven? Is that something we can build here? And then we can make ingots. And then we can make our own little habitat. And screw everybody else. We don't need anybody. Uh, a habitat dome would have been nice. I didn't realize that we actually need to be... Oh, maybe we can craft one inside a forge. Or inside a workbench. Ooh, that would be worth exploring. Okay, let's see if we can find any rocks to pick up uh, while we go forward towards that structure here. There seems to be zero resources here. I mean, look at this. There's nothing here. It's like absolute barren. There seems to be a little bit of a resource right there on the top of that nipple mountain there, but that's about it. Oh, look at that. What is that? It's like a rocket, is it? Or oh, that looks like a rocket launching thing. But it's not a rocket. I think it's a building as well. Wow. This is amazing. We're going to check this out. And we're going to hopefully... F oh! 
Mein Entrance 1A. I think I like it here. I like it here a lot. We're gonna have to explore that mine entrance. But first we're gonna have to see if we can establish some routes here because that would be pretty awesome. That would be absolute fantastical. There's no resources anywhere here though. There's some resources down here. If there's a path leading us to some resources, that would be really, really awesome. Oh, look at that. Wow. There's a crate. <gasps> Is there goodies inside? Come on, Jeff, stop getting stuck. Is there goodies inside? Oh, great. Oh, it's empty. Oh, don't tease me like that. Ah, oh, what are you being such a tease for? There's nobody else on this planet. I mean, obviously there's somebody, but I mean, where's all the goodies? There must have been something in the crates. Ah, oh, that sucks, donkey balls. You gotta make me look at every credit. No, I'm refusing to look at. Oh, oh. No, I can't look at them. I'm refusing to look at any, at any more crates. They're just taking a piss. Like uh, somebody's like in there, like going, he's looking at all the empty crates. What an idiot! Yeah, exactly. Oh, there's loads of resources down here, guys. If we can get some rocks. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. If we can get some rocks and we can start a hunkering down here. <gasps> what is in this crate? What is in here? Is this copper? Copper! It is copper! This is a nice look. I love this location. We shall find rocks. We shall settle down here. Oh, I'm gonna spit all over the place. I'm so excited. Precious metal, copper. Oh man, and on the other side of that hill we have aluminium. This hill is nice. No rocks. All we need is to find rocks. Oh man, just in case we can't find rocks, I'm going to take some of that delicious copper with me. Oh man, yes, we definitely want some of that. That is so cool. Nice. Come on, let's get rid of it. Really good, really good. I like it. Oh, it's getting dark now, which is not good. But you know what? Let's hope, for, hopefully we can find some rocks. All we have to do is keep going down here. Precious metal. What are the precious metals gonna give us? Copper? They give us 30 mining experience, the precious metal. Oh man, there's gold. Oh, this is, I, I love this. This is amazing. I think we had precious metals last time, so I, sh I, I know they get us gold, but... Ah, balls. Something is already at our ass again. I can hear the music. It's like you're not getting, like, a break. Oh, what is that? Ah, come on. What is attacking us? There's another one somewhere. No, music is over. Yes, yeah, Skelly. No, there's something still there. I don't care. I want to go down. Oh, what is that? Oh, I knew there was one. There we go. It can fly. What the hell? Now it's gone. What is that down there? Oh man, how much ammo do we have left? Oh, five more. Oh, I can't see for balls. Okay, I have the light on. Oh, no, 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 no. I can hear some growling and it is sandstorm. I don't like it. I don't like it. Guys, this is really, really bad. Okay, I don't want to die here again. I had enough of dying. I just want to find some rocks and build a stupid fucking workbench. It's all I want in life. I don't know what a snob is, but it looks evil and there's a whole hive of them, so I'm not going to attack the snobs because I don't want to be overrun. Okay, we're gonna wait out that sandstorm, then we're gonna have a look if we can find rocks. This is just wow. Okay, worst case scenario, we're gonna have to go back to our base and now we have a meteor shower, but luckily it's far away. Holy balls. Okay, so let's actually go around here, see if we can find rocks. This is an amazing location, guys. We're gonna have to check this out. So like I said, worst case scenario, we make a habitat at home. Then we're gonna come here, place the habitat down, uh, get some rocks with us, and start a uh, base near here, because we have a lot of resources here. Wow, okay, you're very angry. You are very angry. All right, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Oh, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming.
Okay, this is a bit of a joke. Um, running through all the rocky areas, there's absolutely no rock. Uh, so, uh, to me, that is completely stupid. Um, if they want to diminish the possibility that you can start a base anywhere on the planet and these uh, make these, whatever you call them, those workbenches and all that, these ovens, if they want you to actually be able to start everywhere over and that's why they made these workbenches and ovens, then they should give you the ability to pick up rock everywhere. I mean, I'm on a rock. I theoretically should be able to smack the thing and get rock. There should be rocks everywhere on this planet. I mean, the whole planet is a dry rock.